good morning children let us continue the chapter the human body the next system is the digestive system the digestive system consists of the mouth stomach small intestine large intestine and anus as you have seen in the video how does the digestive system help to digest the food we eat the journey of our food begins from the mouth and ends at the anus what do we do first the food we eat is chewed and broken down into smaller pieces right for the softened food then passes through the food pipe what is the food pipe called the food pipe is also called as oesophagus from there it reaches the stomach where it is further broken down for because of the juices present in the stomach the stomach then what how does the stomach then sends the food to the small intestine and necessary useful nutrients from the food are taken out the rest of the food which is not needed by our body that is a waste and undigested food is thrown out of the body this is the process of digestion then we come to the respiratory system the respiratory system consists of respiratory system means how you breathe the respiratory system consists of nose vent pipe and lungs we breathe in air through the nose the air goes into the lungs through the vent pipe in the lungs the oxygen from the air gets absorbed in the blood this oxygen helps in burning the food in the body and gives us energy the air we breathe out has carbon dioxide our body does not need it so carbon dioxide is thrown out children you can do one experiment you can see keep your hand under your nose and you can feel the air going out hot air going out that is carbon dioxide next we have the nervous system what is the nervous system the system which is made up of nerves the brain the spinal cord and the nerves make up our nervous system our brain is the control center of the body it gives commands to other parts of the body all body parts according to the orders received from the brain the brain also receives messages from various body parts and instructs other parts of the body to react accordingly this message travels through the nerves this is our nervous system okay now as you are walking we will have an example as you are walking if you see a stone in front of it or a pit in front of you what will you what will be the brain do your brain will give the instruction your eyes will see them and give the instruction to the brain the brain will give the instruction to the legs that you have to walk apart you have not to fall inside the pit or you are not to dash the stone this is the way the nervous system works thank you dear thank you children and watch the videos carefully and try to understand it if any doubts you can 